हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन प्लानेट डिबरिंग एंड फॉर प्लानेट डिबरिंग फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई ए फेसिंग ऑपरेशन एंड वन फ्लोर एंड वॉल एंड आफ्टर डेट आई विल यूज दिस प्लानेट डिबरिंग एंड फॉर दिस आई हैव एडेड वन एडमिन थर्टी एम एम एडमिन एंड वन चैम्पर मिल See, this is champing, champer mill, and one ball mill for debris. We use ball mill or champer mill for debris. So first of all, I'm going to define the work piece, and my part is this. So select this one, and blank. Select blank as a bounding block. Okay, and I want to do some. Finishing operation. So I have added some extra material here. So it will come here. Point five five is the material for facing. And uh, okay. And next, specify check. I want to add this clamp as a check, or if you have any table any clamp so we can add that geometry as a check okay and click okay so first step is done now i am going to use first operation floor facing And one two three is a folder, so I'm going to add this in one two three. And my mill is a working tool, and work piece. And click, okay. Now first of all, specify the cut floor, and this is my cut floor. And jig jack, and final floor is zero as a stock. Part stock, and change it to blank geometry, and fifty percent of two diameter and generate. Okay, just okay. I have restarted this annex. Now the piece is already selected. Just Click here, generate. Tool path will generate, and it will automatically detect the clamp where it is clamped, and it will left that place where it is clamped. So, see this. Okay. Click OK. So this is the first operation, and next, I am using floor and wall, and my tool is. Mill, work piece, and my method is this finish. And cut area floor is this. Add this one. Add this. Add this and this. Okay. Automatic wall. Keep the stock as zero, and use. Blank as IPW, whatever the rest material after this floor facing, and step over depth of cut one point zero for this training purpose. And click to verify. We have already done the all this operation. Okay, some middle is left because of tool. The tool die is bigger, so click OK. And I want to check the radius here right here. For this, I am going to select this. Or here we have local radius nine point five. Is the radius 
and 6.3 so I am going to add a new tool animal 12 is a diameter and float length as 40 and tool is 3 3 3 ok double click here I want to add it and I want to change this tool and feed and speed let's see the result Okay, now I want to do the deburring operation. So click this OK. And next operation is this planet deburring. It will use only for the planet pieces. Okay, and my tool is ball mill or chamfer wheel. Anyone you can select and finish OK. And from the geometry, I am going to select the cutting area so this is my cutting area add and add so only the edges which is available on this face will be deburred and stock material no need to define this stock material and from here this is a chamfer and the stock we have already discussed this chamfer in chamfer milling this chamfer z offset so i am taking as one and the chamfer size how much material you want to remove so I'm using 0.5 for this and calculate okay and let's see the result in 3d dynamic it will not be properly visible so we have to go to through this 2d dynamic and I will tell you how to enable this it is not visible now so we have one alternate option no problem just use this same options and cutting geometry is this and this face and from the main offset is 1 and jumper size 0 0.5 I am using okay and geometry axis is the same if you want to apply this deburring operation on the hole that time it will consider if you want to ignore that hole so hole will ignore which is 150 percent of tool diameter okay which will equal or less than hole size okay so speed speed we have already defined just calculate and okay and how we will see this just hide this part this part so from here select this and ok inwards select and right click to hide I want to hide all these things from the view immediate hide ok now click and verify this using select right now see This deburring is here and because of plant tool unable to cut here 
and the debugging is only on two faces which we have selected okay click okay and from the view hide and show show all bodies okay now I want to generate the program for this okay so select this program one two three folder and post processor and post processor how to add a new post processor see I am telling you browse here we have an exposed processor here we have all the list and I want this one three axis milling so click here right click you can directly select from here and if you want to use this repeated repeatedly so copy it cancel again open directly this post processor folder will highlight go and paste it here one of three axis metric open see this post processor is now here now ok mm. why it's so it wait I'm doing the same with any other post processor tool number is missing so we have to copy and paste say this is all three file say from this folder we have three files copy all three files okay and paste it here right copy and paste all three file will be in this folder now I'm going to select this okay and okay So in this way you can generate CNC program for your operation.